Uh, uh, wait, 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 slow down. Uh, wait up. Okay. Can, will you mind explaining to me why exactly we're here again? Well, you said you was a bit lonely on your birthday, and I figured that you made Teal Deer in this forest. I know that Teal Deer is a deer and all, but don't you think that this forest is a bit dark and creepy? It is the best way to keep the radical feminists from hunting him down. Look, can we stop here for a moment? We're looking for Teal Deer in the middle of a goddamn creepy as fuck forest during nighttime, and the fog is starting to get thicker by the moment. Even if what you say is true, there is no way in the world that I'm going to look for a deer during this kind of weather. I'm leaving with or without you. Wait, atheist gamer, you don't know where you're going. Jesus Christ, the fog is getting worse and worse by the second. I knew this was a bad idea. All right, where am I? And what's this piece of paper doing on this tree? Misogynist, sexist, this feels all too familiar. Uh, Chonky? Chonky! Hold on, Atheist Kato, I'm coming. There you are, you piece of shit! Listen, I think we're being haunted by something, and this piece of paper is trying to warn us. That or someone is really fucking bored and just wants to place drawings on trees. A piece of paper, you say? You mean a piece of paper like this? Yeah, just like that, but my drawing's a bit different. There seems to be another drawing on that tree. Perhaps we should take a look at it. It says, run, don't stop, he will rape you. All lies, just run, triggered. He wants to debate, undoom comes. This feels all too familiar. It's like if the feminists have entered this forest to warn other feminists of a rational human being that lives in this forest. And who the hell is this undoomed guy? Well, you know, you can go ask him yourself because he's right fucking behind you! Wait, what? A moron! Fucking moron! A moron. Fucking moron. Get the hell up. What's going on? Where am I? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. What the hell is this? Oh, this? Well, let's look around, shall we? We've got balloons, cake, a skeleton with red hair. I say we're in hell. Okay, and who are you? I am the one who hides under your bed at night. I am the one who lurks in the shadows. I am the one who pretty much makes feminists go barking mad. Wait a second. All those papers on the trees, hey, the sexy voice, oh, and bringing rationality on the table? That's right. I know who you are. Say my name. You are... Undoomed. Why, you're goddamn right. So what are you doing here? Well, this is sort of my home. Seeing that I am like a slender clone, I'm just doing what a slender man does. Just with feminists. Did you leave those drawings on those trees? No. But a few feminists did. They could not use their phones to make their trigger warnings about me. You know how feminists hate rational people. They hate having to defend their stands on things. I really like this one. She really knows how to draw. I'll give her that. And where is Chunky? Looking for you, most likely. He ran away like a little bitch, but he should be around the main roads. Hey, well, Undoom, it's nice meeting you, but I have to get going. And go where? Into the fog? 
Well, unless you want to get lost in the woods starving to death, you've got no choice but to stay here with me and that dead body over there. Don't ask why it's there, it's just there. Well, fuck. Luckily, I know you and you know me. We both hate feminists and we both have the ability to make a video on someone. Well, I was planning to make a video on this girl, another Lacey Green clone. I have a question. Why do you make videos on these Lacey Green clones? Look, you and I both know that this is a rare chance for both of us to work on a project that both of our fans will love. It's time you step up your game and I have the tools for it. You do? Check this out. What the? Behold my studio to make me awesome. Oh, and uh, I have a teleporting remote, uh, which is pretty badass. Just don't ask me how it's made, it's just made. Well, I guess I can make a YouTube video on Lacey Green. Let's do it then! We're both making a video on Lacey Green? Well, it'll only be half as hellish if someone is suffering with me. This is the Undoomed and Tag Crossover. <laughs> Hey everyone and welcome back. So today we're gonna tackle the queen bitch of the universe. You guys saw aliens, right? This is the queen bee of the alien hive. You know, the one who rules them all. Being the queen of the hive must mean she has some intelligence, right? Let's see how that works out. When comedians be like, Oh, we're gonna have 13-year-olds speak? Listen, guys, uh, could we get, like, a subtitle team in here? Oh, okay. Damn it. They were so fat that they're that standing sweat fat. Crisco was coming out of their pores like a fucking Play-Doh fun factory. My sister's off the charts. I replaced her pepper spray with silly string. <laughs> anyway, that night, she got raped. Holy shit, Batman, I think we just found the only human on the planet without a sense of humor. Activate the comedy sensor. Activating. No humor detected. Oh, hi, babes. Let's talk about jokes. When I first started speaking up about rape jokes when I was in high school, a bunch of my friends were like, Oh my god, Lacey, it's just a joke. It's just a joke. And you know what? You should have listened to them. They know what they're talking about. The it's a joke line was just a way to make me shut up when I criticize them. Oh god, I wish they would have succeeded. As Nicole Arbor learned last week, being cruel and then calling it humor doesn't make it any less cruel. You do realize that not everyone agrees with you, right? A pile of shit with a bow on it is still a pile of shit. Well, at least there's truth in that. The most basic tenet of comedy is that it's supposed to make us laugh, right? Yeah, so I hope you're not suggesting some sort of censorship on jokes. A good joke can be clever, smart, uncomfortable, weird, biting, goofy, obnoxious, and yes, even offensive. Yeah, okay, so what exactly is the problem? Hitting the funny bone is a skill, and it isn't easy. But you know what is easy? Being an asshole. Whoever gave you that idea? It takes years of practice. Humor is a type of communication. All humor has an underlying message, and that message, whether or not we consciously process it, is the reason why we're laughing. No, it doesn't. Sometimes a cigar is just a cigar, asshole. What the fuck is the message when someone just falls on their ass? It doesn't have a message. It's just funny. Things like rape jokes, fat jokes, police brutality jokes. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? They're funny as hell. That come at the victim's expense, that's a key, normalize inequalities that already exist in the world. No, that is not some sort of an axiom. You could just as easily say they shine a light on them. People with less power are seen as acceptable targets for cruelty. So when we laugh at someone suffering, we're participating in a broader cultural phenomenon where we don't take those injustices seriously. Have you ever heard of the fact that you can laugh at things by realizing they're true? So if someone makes a joke pointing out how oppressed a group is and everyone laughs because they realize how true it is, what does that mean, retard? 
comedians cry. I am an American and I have freedom of speech. I totally agree. Yeah, but you're gonna throw in some caveat there, aren't you? I say all manner of offensive shit to the mainstream. I'm out here, y'all. Criticism doesn't mean that the subject matter is a problem. It's not necessarily the topic, it's the approach. If the approach isn't funny, then critics also have free speech to say what they think. No one is saying that critics don't have free speech. Here I am, a critic of you. Just like any other form of entertainment, comedy does not have some special sacred immunity to criticism. Yeah, that's true. So why are you feminists trying to ban certain comics from coming to your campuses and perform? For fuck's sakes, that is censorship. While Daniel Tosh might think that rape is absolutely hilarious, many of us come to comedy to have a good time, not to be reminded that other people see us as less than human. <sighs> you think Daniel Tosh sees you as less than human just because he told a joke? Fuck you, Lacey. Fuck you very much. This bigger comedy debate isn't about constitutional rights, which are robust. Well, generally robust. Yeah, the Constitution has worked fine for 200 years, but now there's this thing called feminism, and we have to change it. Freedom of speech is great. It should be upheld unless you disagree with feminism. Then it should be banned. Just look at Canada. They're paving the way. It's about what's morally right, which is not as robust. Morally right? What does that even mean? We have laws for a reason, you know, to make sure there's no ambiguity. What we choose to say and do with our platforms, with the stage, with the mic, with the YouTube channel, with the Twitter account, with the TV show, that speaks volumes about our character. We can punch up at abuses of power, or we can continue to punch at those who are already down. For fuck's sakes, humor that tries to sell an agenda is not funny. So how do you know which direction something's punching? It's pretty simple. Just ask, who finds this funny? Jokes by no means need to be universal, but who's in the group that's laughing? Are abusers, date rapists, the KKK, high school bullies laughing with me? Hey moron! Fucking moron! Let's just take a moment to do the math, shall we? Hmm, oh, okay, carry the five. Okay, so... 0.00001% of the population are members of the KKK. For fuck's sakes, do you think you're gonna find one of those sitting next to you laughing? And how in the hell do you actually identify an abuser sitting next to you? Who is being validated by the message that I'm communicating? Well, in your case, it's clear. Morons! I wanna end by saying that it is okay to tell an off-color joke. Oh, it is? Thank you, Overlord. We're all learning. I've told messed up jokes. You told messed up jokes. We're all idiot humans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the human and you're the idiot. I don't think we need to handle this by burning people at the stake. That's so 1500s. Yes, my precious feminists. Now we have a new tactic. I think the key is to recognize and apologize. Don't let your ego get in the way. Great. I'm waiting for that apology. I'll be holding my breath. There are some amazing comedians in our YouTube community and in the world. Yeah, I'm not giving those ideologues any room on my channel. Which is like really sexy to me. It just got really warm in here. <laughs> not everyone needs to reach that pinnacle of perfection and change the world with their comedy, but at the very least, we can be good to each other. It's not a comedian's job to be good to you, numbnuts. All right, babes, let me know what you think down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you soon with more Sex Plus. Mwah. Yeah, I think you have enough subscribers, asshole. So why not subscribe to good old Undoomed instead? The fog is clearing up, gamer. It's time for you to go. At the end of the day, it's good to have support from other YouTubers. Eventually, we'll have to stand up together. That includes making videos together. If we can do that and spread the message that feminism is fucked up. Agreed. Eventually, there will be some changes.
Your friend is at the road. I'm going to teleport you there. You could have teleported me to Chunky. I get lonely sometimes. Now get out of my room, you bastard, and happy birthday. Finally. Bit of a show-off with this editing. 